life advice in general. That was funny, right? I feel like your mother already. Hey everyone. Okay, so today I wanted to do kind of a back to school themed video. I asked you guys on Instagram what kind of back to school theme video you guys wanted to see and you had a lot of ideas and one of them was kind of like a more college themed a, a lot of people said a college series and I did not know what you meant but I started thinking more about like college and stuff because I just graduated not too long ago still kind of weird for me to be like oh I don't ever have to do that again unless I want to of course not that I had to do it the first time anyway I thought as a experienced party in the situation I would bring my tips not so much tricks but tips on how to survive college slash how to not let college kill you because it could it almost killed me a few times see personally I very much took the scenic route and by scenic it was not very pretty but I, I got very distracted and school has never been hard for me like growing up like yeah I wasn't the best at math but generally I was put in the more advanced classes and school did, was just not incredibly challenging for me but what was challenging was not getting distracted and you know being a bad kid and not caring about school so for the longest time like pretty much forever I didn't really care about school like I just didn't get the vision as my dad would say i just like do my own thing and my favorite thing to say was i do what i want except i would put my age before that i'd be like i'm 16 i do what i want i'm 19 i do what i want not too cool very very bratty but I went through a lot. I definitely did college the wrong way for a while before I figured out how to do it the right way and I don't know why it was like I want to do this well and then I just did. Anyway, so I've been there, I've done that, I did it the wrong way so I know exactly what you're going through if you're doing it the wrong way or if you're about to do it the wrong way or whatever and I also know how to do it the right way and I know how drastically different those two things can be. At the same time, I'm very much somebody that has to learn lessons the hard way. So even if I was, you know, just going into school for the first time and I watched this video, I'd probably be like, oh, those are nice tips. I'm still gonna do what I want. And you know, some people just have to make their mistakes before they can learn. I'm just saying, if you don't wanna let it almost kill you, do these things putting it out there. My little sister who's actually still in school right now was so sweet and I told her about wanting to do this video and she totally collaborated with me and I came up with some of the ideas and she came up with a ton of ideas since she's like currently in it and so like her brain's totally in that mode. So big shout out to my little sister Kristen. She's so cool and she helped me with this and so this is not just my advice. It's both of our advices. Advices. I went to school I promise. I have a list of maybe like 10 things that will be very, very helpful for you. And either you're going into it for the first time, and honestly, it doesn't even have to be college. Like, you could just be like in high school, and maybe you just want to do a little bit better. Most of these things can definitely be applied to high school, so don't feel discouraged or left out if you're in high school. Anyway, let's get to the list. I'm trying not to make this forever long. First up on the list, something I did forever and ever and ever, and I've always loved to do personally, maybe you won't love it, but get a planner. For me personally, I've talked about this before, whenever I got my new planner in January of this year, I like showed it in one of my videos, like planners are that big a deal to me. I like to physically write things down. I know a lot of people have apps on their phones that they really like and they trust and it totally works for them, but for me personally, the act of writing it down does something for me. I just feel like it's it's more real, okay? I do enough things in the virtual. I gotta have some real paper things in my life. Kill the trees. I didn't say that. You don't have to have a plan to use a planner. I should be a motivational speaker, shouldn't I? You know I've never had a plan in my life. I still don't have a plan, but writing things down is good. Write everything down. Like, write down when there's an extra credit assignment, when you hear about it two months earlier, because you will forget. Just write everything down. Even if it doesn't come in handy that day, you might want to look back in like two months and just be like, when did I do that? Have a home base, make it your planner, have all your important information in one spot. Obviously, you wanna keep up with this thing. I kind of carry around planners like it's my job, like it's my water bottle, which is like, you know, an extra appendage at this point. Just keep it with you all the time. It doesn't hurt. I feel like your mother already. This is kind of a quick one, but figure out where your classes are and where you're gonna park beforehand. Parking is always a wretched, 
evil mess. I think at every college I went to, I think, four along the way. Yes, I did. Parking is always insane, especially in the first two weeks, and you need to know where your classes are because you don't want to be the last one dragging in all late and stuff. I know what it's like to be late. I'm always late to everything, and better late than never. Yes, 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 it totally applies, but still, try to get a grasp of where your stuff is before you have to actually execute on the stressful day. Number three is talk to people. You might go to college and you have a friend that went with you or a couple friends or maybe you know a lot of people, whatever. Every class that you go into, you need to make a friend. Make a buddy, have a study buddy, get their number, be cool with them, even if it's just in that one class. It's just nice to have kind of like an ally in each class because you can have each other's backs. It will be someone that notices when you don't show up and maybe they'll sign in for you. Or maybe you guys can share notes or collaborate or whatever, like seriously, it helps. Also, talk to your professors. You do not want your first time talking to your professor to be when you have a problem or a crisis or something like that. Oh my gosh, I'm getting my wisdom teeth removed on the day of the final, what am I gonna do? And they're like, oh, well, I've never seen you before, so clearly you don't care about your grades and I don't even recognize your face, so I don't know what I can do for you. You know, show up, meet them, show that you care, you think maybe you can get by without doing it, and I'm sure you can, but every little bit helps, right? Why not make things easy for yourself? Why not make friends along the way? I'm shy. These things don't come naturally to me, but you really gotta push and you really gotta like, try. Try is really the main thing. All right, number four is, not number eight, take initiative. People like advisors and you know counselors, they can be helpful, but in my experience, you really need to like come into those kind of meetings with everything figured out already. You can't come in and be like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life because I've taken classes that I didn't need because of situations like that, because I was like, I don't know, whatever, I'll go there. And it was like, it didn't transfer over and stuff like that. Also transferring schools is a nightmare. Try to just like go to one school and stay there. Try to seek out the information on your own, but if you need help, ask for it. Don't wait till the last minute and be like, oh wait, but I didn't understand how that was supposed to work. Ask. Don't be scared, because you need to know and no one's gonna tell you. Number five is be patient with yourself but don't be a slacker. Everything doesn't have to be perfect and everything's not gonna be perfect. Yes, you're in school. Yes, you might have to qualify for, you know, grad school or some other program that you wanna get into and you might have like these really high expectations, but you have to not become like crazy defeated by every little failure or misstep or whatever. You just have to move on because everything's moving on without you if you don't. But don't ever sit in a corner and be like, this is hard, everything is coming at me so fast. Because it's coming at everybody so fast. Don't use that as an excuse to be a slacker, ever. Next up about textbooks, textbooks or horrible. A lot of times I would wait and really like go to the class for a week or so and see if I really needed the book because they're so expensive and so horrible and sometimes you end up not needing them or the book sucks and it doesn't even help you or whatever. I don't know if that will work for everybody. I mean obviously there's some classes where you need the book right away so that's kind of up to you but in general about buying books, stay out of the bookstore. In my experience I've always seen bookstores charge you way too much. It's always a ripoff. Go online. There's a bunch of different sites. You can rent your textbooks, which actually is a good deal. It does work out. If you wait to the last minute and you just want to go to the easy way, which is the bookstore, you're going to be wasting a lot of money. Two really quick things about people and friends in college. Be really respectful of your roommates, especially if it's just potluck. You might need them to help you one day and you don't wanna be a jerk and inconsiderate and disrespectful. And then one day you really need someone to run out and get you some Pepto-Bismol cause you had a rough night. And then she's like, um, do I know you? Be sweet, try your best. Second about the people, be open-minded and meet a lot of people, but try to be smart about who you spend the bulk of your time with because you can meet a lot of cool people, but you also meet a lot of crazy people. And I used to be a very, very crazy person and I attracted crazy people and that's obviously what I wanted, but it did not help me. Those people typically don't 
help you succeed in college and you know you want to make friends with the people that aren't going to drop out in a year because then you know you totally wasted your time being friends with those people not necessarily don't take that the wrong way but you know what I mean okay just two more things but they're important first don't be too cool you're not in high school anymore you might have been the hot shot too cool for school kid at your high school but now you're in college and you're paying for this maybe you went to a private school and you're paying for it before but this is serious business and you need to kind of be a nerd take notes talk to your professors ask questions be the first one to raise your hand and answer the questions don't be on your phone don't sleep in school what's the point especially if your parents are paying for your school like don't be a jerk i feel like you're already in trouble at this point i'm sorry you're not in trouble the last and most important thing is i don't know why i put this last because i should have put it first because it's the most important thing show up oh my gosh seriously obviously there are exceptions to the rule and you might be like one of those genius kids that doesn't need to study and can maybe like glance at the book in your sleep while you're sleepwalking at a party or something and you just absorb the information but you know what i wild guess you're not that person and you need to show up for class and you need to like listen and take notes and be present in the moment and not be like on your phone looking at twitter or whatever i mean you could always like watch one of my videos i'm sure that won't hurt but you know don't really the woody young quote is so true 80 percent of success is showing up all right, so that's it. I really hope you guys who are going back to school, high school or college or whatever, take at least something from my tips and hopefully it helps you. I always want you guys to be successful and I definitely was successful, but I also had times where I was very unsuccessful, so I definitely know the difference. If you have any comments or questions or whatever, comment down below. You can also hit me up on Instagram or Tumblr or Twitter or Facebook. It's Leanne Says Everywhere. Also, please subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I love when you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you learned something from this video or if you're going back to school or something like that. I don't know. Thumbs up are nice and I like them. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. <laughs> I don't know. It was like Girl Talk or, or Banksy or something. I don't know. It was like Paris Hilton and it said 90% of success is just showing up. Life advice in general. That was a lie. I do like something about it. I really like the packaging. You're efficiently using the product because it pushes it up and it has a pump and it has a good sturdy cap. Like I just really like this packaging. So somehow could we get the cover girl in Olay and the Maybelline? I know that's never gonna happen. Anyway, in a dream world, this packaging would somehow have